No! <laughs> Salivating the Saturday evening. Well, actually, Friday evening. Okay. Uh, we have run out of series to do. I've done all of the series that should be done, should have been done. Ah! <laughs> it's Friday. Friday night of shoes. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day this evening. Listen, the corona pandemic has moved its epicenter from New York City to Florida. So now this coronavirus has reached its peak at its epicenter in Florida, in Tampa, which is 40 hours from where I live. So I left New York because New York was the epicenter. Now, if I want to return to New York, I can because the epicenter is now Florida and New York is not accepting flights from Florida to New York. This is Saturn, the third house. Oh, the beat. Get up. <laughs> Get up. Good silence, you oh, oh my God, oh, like, it's madly better. You know the beat, and it's fighting. So you know, I'm extra, extra turned up. <laughs> oh God, I don't, no, I gotta enjoy, it's fighting, come on. Let me enjoy this beat. <laughs> and I have a surprise for you. I'm gonna do another video tonight at open fire with Tiki Fire with a stereo and I'm gonna have the music blasting. You're gonna to get to hear the music live. Yes. I oh and I already got the demo set up for you guys who want the tapes. Oh no, I didn't forget. <laughs> Today we are gonna talk about black magic and Atlantis. Now, I have talked about Atlantis before and Lemuria before. Give me your little bits here. You know? Oh, wait. Tormento, <laughs> Mamita Linda. So, we are going to go and talk about magic, black magic. Now, here's the thing a lot of you. Don't believe in black magic. And that's too bad. Because black magic does exist. They do. Look at that over there. Those are sigils. And that's nothing. Nothing. If you used to do black magic, like someone just said, then you understand. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me tell you. Black magic is real. I do black magic too. Sometimes you have to do it. Sometimes you have to do it. But I am... A high priest. I'm ordained to do both black and white magic. If you are not a priest of the religion, then you're not ordained to do black magic. Now you could do little things here and there and not be a magician, but it's still going to be a problem if you're not ordained. Because then the archons which obey you when you do magic are not going to recognize you. They're not going to see the mark 
The Bible talks about the mark of the beast. Of course you can charge your crystals on a full moon. You're supposed to charge them on a full moon. Dip a, a water with Jerusalem salt or Himalayan salt. And that and you cleanse the crystals. And you take the water and you throw it in the open earth. Then you gotta take the crystals, clean them with a purple cloth, and then take them to the sun and charge them or to the moon, depending on what type of magic you're using or what type of crystals you're using. But if we 